what's going on everyone I'm back here with another video <clears throat> and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS applications uh, using iTunes in OS 10 Mavericks uh, so essentially uh, the reason why you might want to do this is you might have for example upgraded or updated uh, an application on your iPhone or just iOS device and you just don't exactly like the new features or new user interface uh, that the app is introducing and you want to go back to the previous version uh, so yeah that's pretty much what this is gonna do so uh, let's go ahead and get started so first thing you need to do is just go ahead and open up iTunes and when you're in iTunes, uh, when you have a device connected, which I don't currently have a device connected, um, what you're going to need to do is right-click on your device's name uh, over here in the sidebar and click on Transfer Purchases. And once iTunes is done transferring uh, all of your purchases um, from your iOS device, um, at the same time, the iTunes is also copying over the new version of the updated application and is essentially throwing away the old version. So when iTunes throws away the old app IPA, uh, essentially you just want to go over here to the trash can. As you can see here, I have one application in this trash can and it is Amazon. Uh, but this is not the app I'm going to actually use, but this is just for a demonstrational purpose. But yeah, uh, when iTunes throws away the app uh, IPA file, it'll go into the trash can. And what you want to do from there is just drag the app IPA file out onto your desktop. And then from there, you'll just drag it into iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and just go over here where I have stored a few, several actually, um, app IPAs. So I'm going to use, say for example, let's go to... Uh, let's use this car finder application. So I'm going to uh, copy the app IPA file and just going to put it on the desktop. Grab it over here. Okay, and then you just need to, once it's on your desktop, you just want to drag and drop it into your iTunes library. And then iTunes is going to say that there's a newer version of this application available uh, and it already exists in your iTunes library. And it's asking if you would like to replace or don't replace. But in this case, you want to replace it because you want to. We're downgrading, of course. So, and hit replace. iTunes will replace that application and it'll update everything. And then from there, you're pretty much done. You just go up here and search for the application that you just um, replaced. And this is the one I replaced right here uh, Car Finder. So now, essentially, all you have to do is delete the new version of this application that's currently on your iOS device, and then from iTunes, just drag this version right over into the sidebar uh, on your device's name, and it'll install the older version to your device. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's actually that simple. Uh, it's not at all hard to do. And, like I said, this does work in the newest version of iTunes and as well uh, in the newest version of OS X, which I believe is OS X 10.9.5. So, this does work as of now. Now, if you do plan on upgrading to OS X Yosemite, uh, I can't guarantee that this will continue to work because that is a completely new operating system. So, I'll have to update or make a new video uh, if it does work or if it doesn't. So anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It helps out my channel quite a lot. Uh, also hit the like button as well. It's greatly appreciated. And if you guys need help or have any just general comments or questions, I'll leave those in the comment section below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. So yeah. Once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.